Good morning, everybody. It is about 6.30 here Arizona time. And I figured I would show you guys how I make my beef stroganoff in the crock pot. So let's get going. Right here I have 8 ounces of sliced washed mushrooms. Wash your mushrooms, people. They're dirty. And two yellow onions sliced. So I'm going to put those in my crock pot that's right here. Whoops. It cut me off, but I got my meat in there. I have about a pound and a half of beef chuck roast and about, and about a pound and a half of elk roast off my elk that I harvested in August. Now in here, I have about seven ounces of beef broth, about three ounces of Worcestershire sauce, and an au jus gravy packet, a brown gravy packet, and a beef stroganoff packet from McCormick's. Not sponsored. I also have a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder, some black pepper, and some Lowry seasoning salt. So I'm gonna pour that right over my meat. Need to rinse that out a little bit, I guess. Now, I've got it in my crock pot. I'm gonna turn it to low. Don't do this on high, it won't taste the same. And I'm gonna do this on low for, till it's done, and I'll come back in part two. And one thing I don't wanna hear in these comments is, oh, that's not how my grandma did it. I'm not your grandma. Do I look like your grandmother? No, I'm just some random 18 year old that likes to cook. So, shh, I'm not your grandma. Another thing, as far as like hate comments go, if you want to hate on me, hate on me. I don't really care. Been bullied my whole life. Don't really care anymore. But if you hate on random people on the internet, that tells me two things about you. One, you probably don't have that many friends. Because you're probably not that good of a person. Number two, your parents obviously didn't love you enough as a kid. Go to therapy. Get a therapist. Don't take it out on random people from the internet. Be good. Be a kind person. I'll show y'all the food when it's done. Okay. Part two of stroganoff. I started this recipe about 6.30 this morning. It's now 5.03. So we've been going almost 12 hours in the slow cooker. So I shredded all my beef up. And then added it back to the gravy. Now I'm going to add probably about a cup and a half of sour cream. I don't know if you can see that. Just going to add that straight into my pot. And stir it all around. And once I get this worked in, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, folks. I got my sour cream worked in. I ended up putting about a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream in so may want to add that just make sure it looks good to you I'm gonna let this cook for another hour and then I'll get back to you guys alrighty there we go folks it's all plated up and it's gonna be delicious